Hello there, this is Kaitasu, and today I'd like to demo you the Klaasila web browser. Here we are inside the classic Macintosh operating system, Mac OS 9.0.4, uh, with 1 gigabyte of memory and uh, under the PowerPC processor architecture. Uh, Klaasila itself is a web browser that was built uh, for the Macintosh operating system and more uh, more specifically for the classic Mac OS. Uh, Klaasila is the last uh, sort of development for the classic Mac OS. Uh, it's still in development, however, it's still uh, not too, uh, too stable. Here's a readme file. It says, Welcome to Klaasila. Klaasila is the free open source Mozilla based web browser for the classic Mac OS 8.6 and 9.x offering improvement support for modern web standards on your classic Power Macintosh system. Godzilla is still under development. There are known bugs. Please read the online release notes at www.klaasilla.org for up-to-date information and complete installation instructions before you start using Godzilla. Thanks for your support. Uh, in my opinion, Godzilla is really good at some pretty basic web browsing. And here it is. Here's Godzilla. Creating a first window. And here it is. And this is Casilla. And this is the home page of Casilla. And uh, one thing you you will want to do when you start using this web browser is to disable uh, this uh, applet right here. And uh, don't do this because that's going to uh, blow up the whole operating system. Uh, so it says, welcome to Casilla. Hi there. And you're using the most current version available, 9.2.2. Now, a little reference to 9.2.2. As you may know, 9.2.2 is actually one of the last versions of the Mac OS. Indeed, the last version of the Mac OS 9 and Macintosh Classic Operating System. So they actually go by the Mac OS 9 versions, and uh, which makes me wonder what's going to be next after 9.2.2. Uh, maybe it will be just a code name. So this is it. This is the main page. And uh, of course, HTML4 certification. And uh, so here's how you're going to get it. You're going to have to uh, go to your favorite uh, search engine. And uh, you're just going to type Placilla with two S and two L's. And of course, the, the web browser itself is still in development, so just be mindful of that. And what's going to happen is the first link will link to uh, Wikipedia, and I suggest you read a little bit about the uh, web browser itself. And as you can see, the web browser is doing a, a really good job at displaying Wikipedia. So the website for the uh, web browser itself is casilla.org. It'll redirect you to this web address, and so here it is. And it, you just say download 9.2.2, and um, you just download it from Google Code. So this is fully open sourced. So, and so here, one thing to notice: uh, Glacilla itself is based on the Mozilla suite, so it's it has almost everything on the user interface part. Uh, just about everything looks the same as Mozilla and as well as CMonkey. So save to disk and you save to desktop. And it has a built in uh, download manager. And so 27 seconds of elapsed time. Once that's done, you just can just uh, collapse the window and you have the, the zip file. And then you can unzip. Or on set or or such, and then you'll get the result. Some basic notes um, regarding uh, compatibility and web standards. Um, just a little taste on how you would do some regular web browsing. Some sort of uh, more advanced web browsing. You can see it's still it's still a little uh, slow. So here's uh, the channel, and you can see there's some formatting uh, uh, hiccups on here. 
there's still some stuff to uh you know they have to uh you know fill in and uh, upgrade and, and reprogram but basically um just going to for example msn let's try one of those things um, however flash is not enabled in this current build of the operating system and uh, I'm still trying to search for the, the, the plugin, the Flash plugin. And so, as you see, it is quite, quite slow. Because it's loading a whole uh, web page, user interface objects, and so on. Just graphics and, uh, and animations. And the web browser is actually going to, uh, you know, halt. There you go. And so here we go. Here's how it rendered the page. So that's that. Um, it is very basic. It is very basic, and I highly suggest it if you have a, a computer that's laying around, like a power book, or perhaps a, a Macintosh that's just laying around and maybe you can reuse it. You can see there's a little uh, hiccup again. It's another hiccup so, uh, here. So, but that's Casilla. And Casilla, it's um, fully featured. It still has some, some stuff to work on. You can see right here is the M, that's the Mozilla suite. And uh, it's going to direct me to that again. So every time you want to wish to go to the home page, you just click the M and the dinosaur. So as you can see, Casilla is still not finished. And Casilla is exclusively for the classic Mac OS. So. And um, Casilla isn't going to get there without your help. There's still a lot of people who maybe need a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, to get together. That's why that's the purpose of open source to just gather everyone and be able to work on one project or several projects. And um, a little bit, if you want to go further and you want to go into the actual Mac OS X system based on Next Step and uh, uh, Unix, then you have this right here. That's based on the for. It's based on on some um, Firefox, yet is uh, optimized for the G3 and G4 and G5 processors. So, it's so another project. Uh, you can see an iBook, give it a second life, and so on. Uh, more importantly, preferences. Here you're going to see that we have all the preferences that are close to Mozilla and SeaMonkey. And pretty much you have uh, appearance, and you can just uh, you know expand the menu, you can change the colors, and so on. Can say say change fonts and teams. Can say change to classic. But I'd rather use the modern. And navigation, in history, and all the basic things out there. But more most most instantly. Advanced and enabling Java, but not universally. That is very important. And you can expand this menu. <clears throat> you can see performance. You can disable all plugins. So I mean, if you're having performance issues, you can disable plugins, scripts, and plugins. Enable JavaScript for Navigator and Mail and News Groups, proxies. Uh, here, all basic, uh, you know, web browser settings are built into this, since it's the fork of the Mozilla suite. Mouse wheel. Uh, align this space and so many more things that can be uh, configured to the user's uh, preferences and desires. Let's try something. Ah, was well, the Book of Mozilla right here. And the beast shall be made to lead you, means numbers shall be increased into a thousand thousand of poles. Uh, the den of a million keywords like undo a great storm shall cover the earth and the followers of 
Mammon Shall Tremble from the Books of Mozilla 3.31, regular edition. So you can see this is actually a full-blooded version of sort of the Mozilla suite. I mean, Firefox, SeaMonkey, and this all have the Book of Mozilla. One of the reasons being that I'm showing you this is because this is still based on the same code as the original Mozilla suite. It's just been upgraded. And of course, you have bookmarks. And so, for example, I can just uh, let's say bookmark this. Go to apple.com, and it's going to be another a web page that's going to take a while to load. But uh, you can just say bookmarks and bookmark this page. And uh, and you can just see there's your bookmark. So you can also manage bookmarks if you want to ma uh, do a little bit of info management, uh, data gathering, and so on. You can just go back home. And all these features you have on the Casilla. So that's that. Um, no support for HTML5 yet, and I don't think I'll see. We'll, we will not see that anything anytime soon as, as because we need those uh, bugs fixed or rather uh, we all need those things fixed so quit and uh, if you want to see more what's inside this folder you have an address book and you have a JavaScript console and uh, you have plugins which you can actually put on here and if they're compatible with the original Mozilla suite they can uh, actually work here. And you can actually put a flash plugin here. And right here is a, a little jar, which is a Java plugin. You can search plugins, uh, Mozilla, source code, and so on. And uh, Chrome, which is something that I'm not quite sure what it is, but it seems to be uh, perhaps a lo localization file since I'm seeing uh, US and so on. Toolkit or non script essential files. Here are some extensions, are some extensions that may come in handy for later retrieval if someone wants to code it or read write or re reverse engineer. So that's that. That is the Casilla, uh, the Casilla suite. Um, very, very um, modular. It still needs a little bit of work, but. Um, I think uh, it's going to be a great, uh, it's already a great start. It's going to, whoops. About Priscilla. There you can see a little HTML file they compiled. And so, that's that. Okay. And so that is the Clasilla web browser for the Macintosh operating system, available for macOS uh, 8.6 and 9. And uh, I wouldn't see a reason to to run this on under Classic though. Although, you know, I may want to try that and see what what the result is. So that's that. All right. Thank you very much.